Hi everyone! So, on this week's video we'll talk about acne and what are the best skincare tips to get your acne better and basically everything about acne. Let's go for it, just catch this one. Okay, right before talking about all the products that can make your acne better, we'll just quickly uh, understand how acne can develop and occur so then we understand how the products act as well. So, let's go for it. Our skin, it contains hair follicles which uh, are associated or have got attached sebaceous glands, basically oil producing glands, and they are inserted into a pore. However, the problem can arise when these oil producing glands, they overproduce loads of oil that get accumulated in the pore and also loads of dead cells arise as well and they can block this pore. And then if that happens, we create the ideal situation. So a bacteria called P. acne can develop, can use this oil to grow and basically cause inflammation associated with the block pore. So let's start with some skincare tips. So basically you shouldn't overwash your affected areas, you should do it twice a day that's more than enough because basically if you overdo it you are getting your skin to get drier and basically you are then telling your oil producing glands to produce more oil to lubricate and protect your skin and you don't want that if you suffer from acne. Also it's really important you always use fresh towels because you don't want them to get really humid and be already a home for some bacteria then, then you apply to your face or other affected areas. Then let's talk about the treatment. So basically the treatment of acne you can't expect it just to work overnight. You normally need to give it a few weeks or even months sometimes to see some really good effects and results. But let's uh, start by talking acne side. So the active ingredient is benzoyl peroxide and this is a great product that is available over the counter and I myself use it as well because I suffer from mild acne. This product it's, contains three ways to tackle acne, that's why it's really good. So first one, it kills bacteria, it contains antibacterial properties, then it also reduces the inflammation associated with the acne and also it unclogs the pores. Basically it helps in the removing of the dead cells so the pores get unblocked. So there are three ways in which it helps your acne. And also it's really really important, you don't apply it only on the spots that you see, but all around sparingly the affected area. And also when applying this, just bear in mind that it can bleach anything that touch. So it can bleach your hair, your clothes and even your pillowcases. Talking about pillowcases, so some experts say that you should actually change your pillowcases every day so that makes quite sense actually because you sleep on them every day for 8 hours and your oils and bacteria that are on your face they just go to the pillowcase and if you've got a fresh one every day then it reduces the inflammation to persist <laughs> and because Acne treatment products are just one step to tackle acne. There are other skincare tips that you need to bear in mind. And one of them is actually to do with the moisturizer you use. You basically should use always a water-based uh, oil-free moisturizer. So when you buy them, you should always make sure it says either water-based or non-comedogenic so you are using products that won't make your acne worse. Then, especially for the ladies, make sure you don't use loads of greasy makeup to cover your spots, because basically that will make it worse. So make sure to avoid always oily cosmetics, oily sunscreens or even oily hair products and make sure you check that on the label. Another very important tip is to do with squeezing or popping your spots. Don't do that because that will increase your inflammation going on, can get the infection worse and also can lead to scarring. Some of the topical creams you apply to treat acne, they can actually make your skin get drier, so that's why it's really important to use water-based moisturizers. And let's just wrap this video up by talking about some myths and health beliefs about acne. So, 
Many believe that acne can be caused by poor hygiene, actually, like we've seen before, acne can get worse by excessive washing, so we've seen that we should wash the affected areas only twice a day. Then also some people think that stress can lead to acne, but that's not true. However, if you have acne, then stress can make it worse. Acne is not just a simple skin infection, like many believe, it's a complex condition where inflammation, bacteria growth, oil and sebum, and also hormones play a major part in it. Acne cannot be treated just by drinking plenty of water. And finally, it was thought before that diet high in sugar and milk products would make acne worse, however research has failed to prove this. As a recap, we have seen that acne is quite a complex condition where we've got a few elements involved. We've got air follicles, we've got sebaceous glands and pores and basically these glands they produce oil and the overproduction of this oil can be accumulated and block the pore alongside with some dead skin cells that can block it. So, to treat your acne is not only enough to apply your topical cream that you just bought in the pharmacy, you should also stick to some skincare tips that I've given you. So basically, wash the affected area, but do not overwash it. Change always your towels and if possible, change your pillowcases as well and avoid any oily based products. If you follow all these tips for a few weeks or up to one month, and still your acne doesn't get any better, so it might be the case that you've got a more severe case of acne and you might need a healthcare professional to prescribe you something. So there are three main drug classes that can be prescribed. There are retinoids, there are antibiotics and hormonal therapy, but that's a topic for another separate video that I should do very soon. If you like this video, just give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned, see you soon!